I was combing the archives of just general information for Call of Duty, looking through some stuff that I thought would be cool to maybe bring to you guys in terms of a looking back type of thing that I love to do or something like that. And then one thing that really caught my attention was one specific thing within Black Ops 3 that's only been mentioned a handful of times at most. Probably like three to four is all that I can find when I try and look at any information here that's out there on the web on it because it stemmed from only one particular place and that was one thing in particular around E3 of 2015 in which we got some information for how gunsmith would work within Black Ops 3. That was one of those things along with the paint shop that they pushed pretty heavily. Some people really stuck towards it, some people didn't necessarily. I know there was a lot of different cool things that you could do with both, but regardless, getting off the topic of if you've ever really used it or not, there is one thing in particular in one of the images that really just didn't make all that much sense. If we were to take a look at the VMP gunsmith where it showcases the attachments and the image of the weapon itself that was debuted right around once again that time of E3 of 2015, leading up to more information on multiplayer within Black Ops 3 and all these subsidiary things that we could do within there. There was one that had this VMP in which it showcased the attachments of reflex, grip, laser sight, FMJ, adjustable stock, and sniper. Now it's quite possible this could be absolutely nothing, this could have been the developmental code name for something that was either scrapped entirely or something that made it into the game as such that we play on a daily basis now. However, the thing that really gets me is the fact that this is not anything that you can make in terms of Black Ops 3 and the gunsmith or in terms of just any old weapon attachment combination. And one thing in particular is that sniper attachment, presumably on the barrel of the weapon, does not exist in the current version of Black Ops 3. If you take a look at that attachment, once again, on the barrel, it looks almost at first glance like a silencer, but it's not. The silencer is more round and a lot shorter on the extension out of the barrel of the weapon. This almost looks like, if I were to put it in a descriptive manner, an amplifier, something that almost is as heavy duty as the weapon as itself, perhaps that sniper attachment, giving it more power, more range, but perhaps subtracting something, say, from the fire rate, maybe. Now, as not being able to see this now in the current game, it's something that just gets my mind thinking. What would Black Ops 3 be like if there was a sniper attachment for any other weapon, pretty much, where you could turn an SMG into a sniper for probably, once again, decreasing some other attribute of your weapon? What if that would be something that would turn out to Black Ops 3? I feel like this might then become one of the more overpowered attachments within Black Ops 3 and thus cause some imbalancing and as such, maybe that is the exact reason why we never saw it past this VMP attachment gunsmith advertisement that we got relatively around E3 of 2015. Because if you think about it, and if you can make an SMG a sniper just by simply using an attachment, perhaps even toggleable, like something of a select fire attachment, that would completely change the meta of Black Ops 3 both competitively and in a public multiplayer sector, simply because you don't have to overkill at that point. Your overkill was simply just one attachment and on the same gun. So it'd be interesting to see how this would have worked, but of course with this being something that is cut and now lost to time because there's honestly not much of anything on this out there, it's interesting to see and really all we can do is be left guessing here as to what would have been. So that said, I'd love to get your feedback here down in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it would be something that would change completely Black Ops 3 for good? And maybe it's a good thing that it wasn't ever added in? Or what are your thoughts here? Just feel free to drop it down there in the comment section down below. I wanted to bring this to you guys because as with doing some of the research and stuff for things to look back on, some cool stuff to try and dig up from previous versions of the game, it's relatively uncommon that you come across something that has almost no information tied to it, but was revealed at one point in time. So it was really intriguing to me to come across this and then whenever I try to do some research on it, not be able to find absolutely anything. So feel free to drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. I thought this was really cool and wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like it down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and zombies with Zombies Chronicles, Modern Warfare Remastered, Call of Duty World War II, both multiplayer and zombies, and DLC 3 for Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to share up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now that we hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. Take care and peace.